Okay, no way. No way. What is this? Hail? The, the, it, it's hail, yeah. Um, what, what are you doing, Mother Nature? I just dewinterized! <laughs> Why? Why? I guess the snow isn't over yet. Nope. Good morning. Good morning. I heard it's supposed to snow today. Did you hear that too? You think I should look outside or or do you think we should just avoid doing that and hunker down in here for the day? Don't care? Okay. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take a peek outside. Okay. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. It's a good thing I just dewinterized less than a week ago. Unbelievable. I gotta tell ya, I wasn't expecting snow <laughs> after I, you know, completely dewinterized my plumbing system, but um it's a it's one degree right now, right? So it's whatever. One degree. Coldest it's been during the day for a while. Well, still I don't think it's gonna get any warmer today, no. Just one of those days. Can't really go outside and do a whole lot. Um I don't wanna be out in this, honestly. But I do have to go out in this. I need to get cat food. I'm kind of bummed. I thought the snow was done for the year. <laughs> I mean, it's it's supposed to be spring, right? The birds were out chirping every evening, and now this. I'm hoping we don't get a lot. I don't know what it's calling for. I should probably look. Who would have thought I'd still need my winter boots? I almost put these away. Yeah. And who would have thought I'd still need my snow brush? you how wonky our weather is. I got in the car and cranked up what I thought was the heat, but I actually had it on the cool air because recently it was warm. <laughs> yeah, and I'm wondering why there's just cool air blowing at me, but yep. Yeah, that's why. Made it back. This is what it's looking like now. Yup. Got some firewood, a couple bundles here. Get me through tonight and hopefully a couple of days anyway. Some kindling. That's mainly why I ran into town because I've got the heater set to like 23 in there and it's only 17. So, struggle city. Yeah, see, still one degree outside, just above freezing, and 17 in here. I do have the diesel heater set to 23. Yeah, see, it was set at 23, but, you know, it's outside, so struggle's a little harder to keep it warm in here. But now I have some firewood, so I am definitely going to get a fire going here. Shut this guy off, give him a break. Oh, look who's coming around because there's a fire going. You come to see the fire? Okay. 
You too? All right, that's new for you. I'm pretty impressed that the hardware store sells these. Kind of nice for if you're in a pinch like me, right? I mean, look at those. Pretty good wood. So between the two bundles, I filled the cradle and absolutely stogged the wood stove here. I'm going to say that'll get me through the evening and the night, probably. And then I have that third bundle in the back of my car still, but... And I could not help myself at Walmart. They were selling these for 50% off. You know, I needed something to snack on on the drive home. Whoops. Want a chocolate egg, Ramsey? Pour up. Oh, no, it's a... He thinks it's a toy. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> the cats made up these rules where they get to eat first, and then I eat. They make the rules, I guess. I was so excited. I have these all seasons recipe books and I'm like, it's spring. I'm going to go through the spring book and see what I can choose out of here. Cause it's, it's so spring-like outside, you know? So very spring-like. Then I was like, you know what? This isn't really fitting today. So we're going to go with, with winter. So I was scrolling through winter. And I thought, you know, I really want some comfort food. So, uh, yeah, we're going to do some corn chowder with bacon. I've got potato, I've got corn, I've got bacon. It works out, you know. A wintry meal for a wintry day in April. Cats are fed. I'm starting to get hungry. Let's get started on this recipe. We are going to need butter, two onions, two garlic cloves, some all-purpose flour, milk, cream, chicken stock, dried thyme, corn niblets. I happen to have the frozen stuff. Optional garnishes include green onion, parsley, which has seen better days. Jeez, Walmart. And bacon. But first, we're going to start with an appetizer. Okay, now it's rain. That's definitely, I know it looks like snow on here, but trust me when I tell you, it's rain. Whew, it's getting hot in here now. Dang, probably didn't need to overload that stove. Okay, we're gonna shut this off and uh, let it cool for a little. Two cups milk. Three cups chicken stock. While that comes back to a boil, I am going to peel and cube up potatoes. You do not want to see me peel potatoes. Trust me. You don't want to see it. You would be cringing. So we're going to do this. Boom. Potatoes are peeled and cubed. This is smelling mm, so good. Potatoes should be done in approximately 20 minutes. For now, I'm going to fry up some bacon for the garnish. Whew, 
I had to open the window while I was cooking. It got mucho hot. Looks pretty yummy to me. Cannot forget the bacon crumbles. There we go. Voila. I think it looks pretty good. What do you think, Ramsey? Oh, the cream. Oh, the cream, he says, and the bacon. I might, you might be able to lick out the bowl maybe when I'm done. How about that? We'll share, kind of. All right. Oh, I'll tell you one thing, that bowl is hot. Almost forgot a little bit of pepper. Very good. Now Ramsey gets some cream to lick up. There you go. Oof, excuse me, I am full. <laughs> Uh, I would definitely say adding that bacon was the move. Adding the parsley to the top. For me, that wasn't the move. I could have done without the parsley for sure. <laughs> Nonetheless, a good hearty winter meal on an April spring day that's not very spring-like. I, I don't know. Such weird weather. I thought winter was over, but Mother Nature just threw me for a loop. Um, on the plus side, it's slightly above freezing still, so I don't have to worry about my water freezing or any of that. And I really hope that this rain just goes full force and gets rid of the snow, like, right away. How was it? Good? You're licking your chops. I guess it was good. You left the bowl up there. I mean, you could at least take it to the sink. For washing. No? Oh. <laughs> Lack of opposable thumbs, that's right. I always use that excuse. Dude, really? It's so windy and cold out there, but I mean, if you want to sit out there in it, you go ahead. I'm gonna stay in here where it's nice and warm, okay? Alright. Well, supper was a success minus Walmart's slightly old parsley i think that was the problem um it was a little flimsy you know <laughs> of course now i am going to enjoy some 50 percent off easter chocolate for dessert so thanks for hanging out with me today um yeah it was really just a chill stuck inside kind of day happens sometimes when it's snowing in april <laughs> hopefully it doesn't happen again anymore this year i'm over it <laughs> regardless i guess it was kind of nice to cook um, a yummy meal. I had to meal prep for work anyway. So with that being said, I hope you're all doing well. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Gonna package up a little corn chowder for my mom, deliver it to her. That woman fed me my whole life. Do something nice for your mom if she's still around. Mother's Day is coming. It's coming. <laughs>